Well, we obviously had to use diesel generated power. As I showed you in the background, you know, we are running massive generators here, or we did. Um, and that was a costly exercise, obviously also not good for the environment. So for Miro, it is, it's, it's crucial that we move to a better solution. And we saw a prime example today when we switched on the, the, the solar, you know, how the pressure came off our, our generators that we're running now. We're here with Miro um, as the flagship project for Cross Boundary Energy in Sierra Leone. Uh, we have provided and financed, fully financed, a solar solution that will provide 236 uh, kilowatt hours uh, of solar, um, renewable, entirely renewable, clean, reliable power, as well as um, a battery component, which is really exciting and shows the evolution of battery power for solar solutions in, in Africa. One of the main focuses of the, of the government and the energy sector is increasing renewable energy. We also know that it's good, as someone mentioned today, it's good for the planet. We all belong here. Um, and for a country like Sierra Leone, it's um, even more important. And so we saw that that's the best way, one of the best ways that we can support in an area that we don't have a huge investment, but we can provide, um, serve as a catalyst. You have built an impressive operation here at Mile 91. And I'm told yours is the largest plantation forestry group in West Africa. Congratulations. And this all, we did all of this while meeting international gold standards on responsible forest management. The installation of a solar and battery storage system, bioforestry by cross-bound energy, is an indication of another more positive trend on the way on the continent generally in our own country. Our company Cross Boundary Energy, we were really encouraged here by the regulatory environment which is really conducive and really supportive to captive power generation. Um, there's new regulations that were put in place in 2019 uh, and with those help of regulations we were able to make sure that this facility is fully licensed. And so we have a generation license that's uh, in place for the next five years. And after that, we will renew it um, for the length of the, the project life. So, yeah, it's, it's very much the supportive framework, the policy 